eve of Chinese New Year and uh, today's plan is to do four hours of base. Yes, very exciting. Four hours of zone two training. Something of anything more exciting than that. Just steady state, steady pace, four hours. Yeah, the plan today is just to build some distance in. We haven't done an early morning ride in a long time. Yeah. The earliest morning I've woken up in a while. <laughs> a bit sleepy, could do it with some sugar. We'll see. Oh, well, it's a nice day. Yeah. Not sweaty very much. Very yeah. cooling actually. Yeah. It's only going to get cooler once we enter the Neo Q region. It's all as well. Just at Lim Chukang now. We finished Jalan Buro and the uh, west side. We're headed into Kranji. And then we're going up Mandai. And after that, we'll do Silita and Coastal. And then into town. Not a bad way to start the morning. So we're taking this climb. Um, we're not turning off at the usual part for Kranji. We're gonna take the second turn instead. Sometimes you tend to get some stray dogs here, but it's flatter, so it's easier. It's more chill in general because the traffic is lighter as well. Last time we got chased by a few of these dogs and it wasn't fun. Apparently the trick is you can't keep eye contact with them so... into the 4 hour ride um, just keeping the heart rate low for now around 130s sometimes we creep up to the 140s it's been quite a nice and steady pace so far so hopefully it stays this way very civilized and disciplined I think we might get quite a nice sunrise this morning to see if we can keep the heart rate low climbing up Mandai but uh, 150 now I'm on 155 no, that's not too bad are you feeling more awake now a little bit yeah I'm excited to stop get some coke get some food a bit hungry <laughs> don't mind peeing again but it's nice it's a nice ride nice and cold yeah, actually it's very nice weather for zone 2. Keeps yeah. the heart rate low, man. We're trying to take it easy up Mandai, as much as possible. Uh, so far, actually doing quite okay. Heart rate is around 140s now. Just trying to stay disciplined. Go easy up the climbs. And then keep the pressure on the pedals down the hills. Go 
Owen is riding quite hard off the front. I think he wants to pee again. We're done with our rest stop at Sinopec. We decided to take the longer route around Silita. So here we are. Just wanted to go past the colonial houses and also the road was a lot smoother actually. Air yeah, traffic was quite nice. Oh but it's so windy today. people do on Silita loops I just go round and round it's just not too different from riding in Singapore anyway Two and a half hours into the four hour ride, and now we're going through Pasir Ris. It's starting to get a bit warm, but still a very nice day to be out actually. Traffic's very nice, uh, no regrets waking up at 5 this morning. Let's check in with Wern to see how his legs are. How are your legs doing? Legs Good? Are okay, I feel a bit tired. Need a coffee? Uh, I need to get off the bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my neck's a bit tight. On the right side. I'll give you a massage later. Oh, wonderful. Happy ending. Definitely makes me want to ride harder now though. See, if you sit at the back the whole ride, right? You'll be quite fresh at the end of it. Still fresh? You have to pay a dollar to sit on the bus, you know? It's okay, I'm paying it for <laughs> This is every cyclist's worst nightmare Having to stop for every single light here We've gotten caught at every single light Ever since we got to Passeris You can't really tell from the video but it is another windy day Look at this guy This is not fun <laughs> Hopefully the wind gets better on coastal. I hope so too. Yeah. I hope it turns into a tailwind. Yes. Tailwind. So we're three hours in and now heart rate is around 160 and uh, the wind is really strong. So we're pushing a little bit but at the same time there's some cardiac drift. So this is why get Zwift. With Zwift you can do four hours straight, no oh, problem. Wind. No wind. Stop anytime you want. Get I water. Yep. And your power will always be consistent. Once again, I would be okay if you wrote a PCN. It's a new PCN. Very nice, very worth it. I agree. So since the plan for today was zone 2, i.e. easy day, uh, I guess also a good time to come and check out this coastal PCN. One hasn't been. Yeah, it's my second time here in three days. Filming the same thing twice in two vlogs. I think that's the end of my vlogging career here. 
nothing else to show in Singapore already. That's about it. Sorry guys. Coastal. I think actually we might have a tailwind or at least the headwind isn't so bad anymore we're getting about 40s but the water just isn't too high so apparently coastal is the part where zone 2 training goes to die definitely wasn't zone 2 at all and then I turned around Okay, I'm gonna take it easy now. <laughs> okay, they came back quite fast, so it wasn't too bad. I'm sorry, Wen. I didn't hear you shout. Okay, so we're finally done with Coastal and now we're in ECT. I think among the three of us, Wen is the happiest. Are you happy to be done? I'm quite happy that we're done with the real real riding. I'm quite tired. Uh, the coastal portion shattered me a little as <laughs> at Winston. But I'm alright. Happy. Happy we're done. Yeah. Hope to find uh, something to eat, some caffeine. That'll be nice. How are your legs? Still good? You get used to it after a while. Yeah. More time in the saddle. Yes. Time in the saddle is the king, I think. I'm surprised that my knees are okay. Yesterday was a little iffy. Do you think because you're not mashing so hard or yesterday was also easy? I think the first day back was like too aggressive probably. Okay, so we're almost done with ECP. It's getting a bit late, so we decided we're just gonna stop for drinks at the end of this and then head home from there. Time is around 3 hours 57. Still got another 40 minutes home, so I guess today will be 4 and a half plus hours in total. Not bad, it's been a good ride. Uh, mostly kept to zone 2, except on coastal and after that. But yeah, I really enjoy zone 2 rides, I think. The nice long rides. It starts out easy but then towards the end, even though you're just trying to keep the power down, um, your heart rate goes quite high, like 150, 160 because of cardiac drift. But the more you do it, your heart rate becomes more and more stable even after a long period of time. So even after like 2-3 to three hours, you can still maintain 130, 140 quite close to where you started and I think that's a sign of improving fitness overall and it's quite easy to measure and gauge okay so that's all for this video we'll see you in the next one